As a New America Foundation Schwartz Fellow, I'm going to be working on online education and how it's reshaping the American political landscape. Obviously, online education is kind of a sexy topic, uh, but it's also wonky. It also has a little bit of a boring internet, uh, kids asleep at their desks angle. So uh, what I'm hoping to do is write about the ways that uh, policymakers are addressing the changes that online education is bringing to education and, uh, and also how it's changing public schools. One thing that got me interested in online education is uh, my own experience with some online courses. Uh, these are just little teeny online courses that uh, are used for professional education or um, you know, other things that uh, you associate with kind of grown-ups. Uh, so a little unit on how to learn how to do accounting or a, an ethics course for the New York Times, which is something that I did when I worked there um, to many years ago. But um, it's far more interesting to see what happens when online education trickles down for kids. Right now, I have a, uh, I have a year and a half year old daughter, and uh, she's great on my iPhone. She's great on my iPad. And the idea that she's going to be shuffled into a classroom when she's five and told, sit still, write your letters on a piece of paper, look at your lessons on a blackboard just seems ridiculous to me. Um, so one reason that I'm interested in online education is um, for my own children, for my own daughter, to see what her classroom experience will be like and how it will be different from mine. But I'm also interested in it from a, from a public policy perspective. Um, American schools are in trouble. They're really a mess right now. And uh, I think uh, online education can be much more than an add-on. I think it could be a way to rethink, start over, and really solve some of the problems with education in this country. You know, I actually think that computers will replace teachers in many instances. Uh, I think that we're seeing huge budget crunches on the state level. Uh, states are having trouble paying teachers. And uh, a lot of the discussion about online education is very careful to say, well, there's still a place for people, right? We're not talking about the Jetsons here. We're not talking about Rosie the Robot delivering lessons to the kids. Uh, but I actually think we hopefully are talking about the Jetsons a little bit. We hopefully are seeing a future where um, certainly there's still a role for human beings in education, certainly there's still a role for teachers, but, but there are a lot of things that a computer or a computer with humans on the other end of the line, on the other end of the email, on the other end of the chat program, can do better than a human in the classroom.